My oldest daughter, Christina, had heard a commotion and came up. She goes, what's going on? And I said, I don't know. Daddy's not well. He's not breathing. When you have a heart attack, every moment, every second is valuable and is meaningful. Every second you wait before you get the treatment that's necessary increases your chance of not surviving that heart attack. I didn't panic. Thinking about it now, it scares me half to death. All I could think of was, don't panic, he needs help. Um, I have to do something now, right now. Wednesday night, I don't remember going to bed. I don't remember having rhubarb pie and tea. Rod has been a patient of mine for many years, and he's been a really proactive guy in terms of uh, making sure that he took good care of his health. Um, he had an angiogram. His coronary arteries were pristine, as we all thought, and um, he'd had an electrical event. When I was finally told that it was a heart issue, that my eyes, there was no reason that that should have happened to me. If you have a heart problem, Trillium is a place to go to. One of the ways we help patients who have special types of arrhythmias or uh, heart abnormalities of the heart rhythm problem is by implanting devices. A defibrillator is a, it's a device that sits under the skin. It's like having their own set of paddles with them wherever they go and uh, hopefully they won't need it but if they do it can save their life. Trillium probably couldn't have done what they did for me if they didn't have the funding they already have and they can't do it for others if they Okay. If they don't get more funding, constant funding, to allow them to be able to do this to more, for more people. Outside of our department, um, there are innovations in a whole range of surgical specialties that are ongoing. Uh, beating heart surgery would be one example of that. Our beating heart surgery program here has been able to offer coronary bypass surgery to patients that previously were not considered candidates for surgery because their risk was too high. Not a lot of centers across the, the continent offer this type of procedure, but it has important implication in terms of how long the patient's in hospital, their recovery, the, sort of the uh, complications that can occur uh, from a typical type of bypass surgery are minimized. I think it's really important to donate to a hospital where you know that you might need the care at any moment. Seconds do count. You need to have great care at your fingertips within seconds of needing it. What we're planning on doing is training the ambulance attendants to do what's called an ECG, which readily identifies certain types of heart attacks. And if once that heart attack is identified, that an ambulance attendant will directly contact the cardiologist on call and we'll make arrangements for that patient to go right from the ambulance directly to our cath lab. That saves time because you bypass the whole emergency room process and you meet the cardiologist immediately and we initiate the procedure. The reason that's important is because every minute counts. If you go to a hospital that doesn't have interventional cardiac services, there will be time lost. If there is a delay, there's a greater chance that the heart muscle will die. So although you may recover from your heart attack, instead of having a healthy muscle, you have some healthy muscle and some dead muscle. And that's not the same heart. Cardiac CT is a relatively new uh, technique for diagnosis of heart disease, coronary heart disease specifically. The actual scan time takes just 15 seconds. So in that short span of time, uh, there is initial evidence that we will be able to evaluate a range of very, very important medical conditions uh, that uh, could be acutely life-threatening for the patient. Cardiac MR is a very specialized and advanced imaging technique. Uh, that is used to solve specific problems in diagnosing diseases of the heart that really cannot be reached with any other method. Uh, and we are uh, the only hospital in our region that offers this service. If uh, we were able to expand CT services at Trillium and uh, 
down the road have access to uh, a, a high-end CT scanner that could make rapid cardiac diagnosis, there are certainly applications to the emergency department setting. Uh, if we were to, for example, add another MR scanner, the impact for the patients would be immediate uh, in terms of uh, access time and, and uh, the types of uh, procedures they, could, they would have access to. Although we are cutting edge today, in order to maintain that standard of quality and maintain that innovation, uh, funding is necessary to keep up. We have a, a large, very multicultural population in Mississauga, and one particularly important group uh, are the South Asian community. When a South Asian has a heart attack, they're two times more likely than a non-South Asian to not survive that heart attack. So the earlier that they're identified and the earlier we can help treat them, the better off they are. And that's what our hospital environment provides for. One of the unique features of our uh, cardiac program, and in fact unique to Canada, is that we have a specific smoking cessation program geared towards cardiac patients. We knew that we would reduce the chances of that person having a second heart attack or a stroke if we could send them out without their cigarettes. Trillium is wonderful because we do high-tech, cutting-edge, technological things that save people's lives. Time is of the essence. But we also slow down and we take a look at everything that's impacting your cardiac health. And we look at your nutrition, your exercise, your smoking, whether you have social supports, what kind of work you do, where you live. We look at all of that because we want to know that when we send you home, you're not coming back. Trillium is a special place for more than one reason. They will always be important to me and to my family because they are a big part of saving my life. And and um, giving me the promise of the future.